This week, the laws of time, space, and probability conspire to get you a free beer. It's pretty awesome, right? This magic-tacular episode of Scam School is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to the show that's like 20,000 leagues under the sea, if the sea was filled with booze. And Captain Nemo defrauded a hobo. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. And this week, bad news, people. The laws of time and space have turned against you. Probability itself bends to our will as we figure out how to use the entire universe to score us a free beer. Starting now. I mean now. OMG, this is freaking fantastic. Got a bunch of returning guests. Of course, Tom, good to see you again. Brian, good New to see you, guests, we have Shannon and Hi. Keith. Shannon, of course, nice to meet you. of Hack 5 right here on the Revision 3 Network. I have a question. Since you're with Hack 5, you ought to know this. Shannon, what is the most common random number? Three. So you say. I would disagree <laughs> with you, though. I don't know. <laughs> what would you say the most common random number is? Four. Four? What would you say? Seven. See, and those are the ones Seven's I always one. hear. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna separate into three teams here. Hold on. I'm gonna draw out the numbers from one to nine. We're gonna have teams. One team is gonna be everything left of the four. That's a one, two, and a three. The other team will be everything right of the four. The four itself is gonna be a dead zone. So this means one team has five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's five numbers. And the other team will have one, two, and three. Which one do you want to be on, Shannon? I'm sticking with my three. You're sticking with three? Yeah. All right, so one, two, and three. What about you, Tom? I think I'm going to go the five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, yeah, more. What, with more there being like twice as more many numbers. Better, dude. Crazy better enough, rocks. right? All right, what about better you, rocks. Keith? Well, we're kind of dating, so she'd probably beat me if I didn't choose her side. <laughs> really? Two. So you're going to go with one, two, and three? Do it. You know what? I'm going to join team one, two, and three. Oh. Right over here. Now, this seems crazy because five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are way more of them, right? Yeah. And the other half, you got one, two, and three. But we're going to put Brian, Shannon, and Keith, and all by himself, uh -oh. crazy old <laughs> Looking Tom. forward to three drinks, guys. That's right. All right. All right. Well, what's up, boss? I see how this goes. It's all the employees versus the man. Damn right. All right. <laughs> so here's the way. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a game where we keep picking completely random numbers. And the way we're going to pick our random number is we're going to take two way crazy random things that none of us could possibly know, like um, the population of Uganda, right? Or the, the mass of Pluto, or the distance from the sun times the average height of an ant. Right? All these okay. things that none of us can know, right? Okay. And in fact, there's a bunch of ways you could do this. Uh, the one thing we're not going to do is allow people to just pick a number at random. Because when we pick a number at random, we have all these biological biases, these psychological reasons that we tend to pick threes and sevens and that kind of thing. So what we'll do is we'll pick these random things to multiply. Okay. And whatever the first digit is, that will be our random number. And we'll keep track. We'll keep track of how many times okay. one, two, or three is the first number. Okay. And we'll keep track of how many times five, six, seven, eight, nine are the number. So okay. you get a point every time five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get a point every time one, two, or three. So and I'm still looking good then. Four will be a dig. <laughs> So looking you're good. You're feeling good about it, right? I'm feeling good about it. Okay, dude. now, if you're at home, you can look all these things up on Google, but I found that a really easy way to do things is on the website Wolfram Alpha. And of course, I spent the two bucks to get the Wolfram Alpha app. So I'll start it off by saying the population of Los Angeles times, you pick your random item, Tom. Let's say the amount of water in cubic inches in Lake Tahoe. Assuming Los Angeles, California, Lake Tahoe volume, what? and the answer is 2.09 times 10 to the 19th Damn. cube. So that no is no way. For, no uh, we gotta way. come up with a, we're gonna be the Cougars. That's our team right God here. God damn it. Versus the, the jerk whales. faces. The jerk, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> All okay. right, so the Cougars get one. All right, I'll let you go first this time. What's your, what's your next pick? Okay, let's say, the amount of words spoken by a human in an average day. Oh man, so how do we type that out? I'll tell you what, we can Google that one. So we'll take, and, and for Google, I'm, guess, I'm guessing that there'll be a bunch of different results for this. In fact, I say we don't even have to multiply anything times. We'll just let you have that, by that. 
Fair enough. So I'm going to put here amount, uh, or num I'll, I'll put number of words spoken in a day. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, and we're going to agree that by whatever one the- By one person though? By one person are we saying? Well, we'll say, we'll say, we'll okay. say whatever the first answer is that shows up yep, in the article good, that good. shows up. So first that's article, good. first word. That's truly random. Okay, number of words spoken per day. We'll take that one. The first thing says, 15,000 seems low. It seems to me I heard it was more like 30,000 words a day. Either still, way, still win. that's another one for oh, the Cougars. Damn it. Ouch, jerk faces. Ouch. <laughs> Cougars have two jerk faces, have nil. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you what. This time we'll, we'll keep it random. You guys pick something. Here we go. What do you want the first one to be? The mass of Saturn. Ooh, that's a good one. Mass of Saturn Ooh, going science, times... Uh, Times. Molecular weight of uranium. Ooh, that's good. That is a good one. All right, let's see. And the answer is 1.3532 yes. times 10 to the 26 oh. kilogram squares per mold. Oh. All right, that's three for the Cougars. All right. Can I even win at this point? No, I'm I, done. I, no, I'll tell you what. We'll start offering. Uh, we'll, we'll do one more. This will be all, all right, or nothing, all right? right? right this all right. you'll tie up or okay. you're totally screwed. Okay. You up, name it. Up. What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna go with the amount of fish in the ocean. Whoa. Number of fish in the ocean. Atlantic Ocean or you, you That'll think? Do. That'll do. That'll do. The Atlantic Ocean. At Atlantic Ocean will do. Atlantic Ocean. This has got to be a high number. Like, this is this is it. Yes. It's about five. All right, hold on. How many fish in the sea? Census of marine life launches first. It'll do. 2003. It'll do. Scientists suspect that. Oh, first this link. is the, it's the first link and everything. 15,000 species of fish is the first thing it mentioned. And I feel good about species. that. The I'm final kidding. count of marine fish species to total roughly 20,000. Oh. That's enough. I, I think there's no way to interpret this. I'm going to call it, man. I'm going to say, I'll give you I'll give you one more. That's all right. right. I'll tell you, we'll go all or nothing. What if we take it to Twitter, all right? Yeah. We'll pick a random word. Yeah. Whoever did the last tweet that had that word in it will look that person up and see how many followers they have. Done. OK? Yes, all right, so deal. what's the word going to be? I'll even let you pick the word. I'm going to choose cheese. Cheese, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Twitter.com. <laughs> I'm going to look for <laughs> cheese, yep. and we'll see whoever the most recent person is to tweet about cheese. And of course, the random number is how many followers the last person yep. to tweet the word cheese yep. on Twitter is. I'll bet you a drink they're from Wisconsin. You, you know what? Actually, a side bet. I'll take you up. If they're from right. Wisconsin, I will totally buy you a second drink. All right, hold on. Tweets, results for cheese. It's epic it? swag, says, yes. like a cheese stick, like a cheese <laughs> stick. No, Grandma, it's like a G6. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's been retweeted one at a time. It's epic swag. Right. We're going to click on hint. Ready? So again, it's all or nothing. You're either tied up with us, or it's completely over at this point. How many is it? Oh, Snapdragon, 8,000 <laughs> followers. <laughs> Dude, it got cocky. That's, oh, that's oh. four points for the jerk faces. All right, jerk faces. <laughs>the greatest thing that's ever been invented. You know it, I know it, the whole damn internet knows it. You get awesome titles streamed to your Xbox 360, your PS3, your Nintendo Wii, your iPhone, your iPad, your computer. There's nothing that they're not taking care of. These guys are geniuses. You get thousands of awesome titles, but here's the important thing. Secretly, Netflix is a graduate level course in scamology. They have all of the best scams and cons movie you've ever seen. Go on in there, go and search around, check it out. And in fact, you can watch all of them in one 30 day period totally free. Just head on over to www.netflix.com slash scam school. Sign up for your free 30 day trial and then you can cancel and they'll never know. But you're not going to cancel. You're going to keep the service forever because it's only the greatest thing in the entire universe. Even better than scam school. By that much. Okay, last one. I'm going to start it off. I'm going to say okay. elevation of Pikes Peak times what? Times the depth of the Mariana Trench. The elevation of Pikes Peak versus the depth of the Mariana Trench. I don't Wait a minute, Pikes Peak elevation, Mariana Trench, center depth, 13 miles squared, which means the Cougars take it. Boom! Suck it, Jack Faces. Yeah. Dude, that was what? awesome. There we go. All right, so what's up, Jerk Face? 
You a little bit bitter? Apparently. You feel like you're on the outside, like this is some kind of scam? Yeah, I think this is a big setup. <laughs> yeah, I think you went back through space and time and rejiggered every random number to skew in your favor. Clearly. It, it turns out that this is actually the result of something called Benford's Law. Check, have you heard of this before, Shannon? I think I have, actually. Right? Okay, it oh, turns that's out. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Benford's Law essentially says that all things being equal, completely random numbers in nature tend to have highly more probability of having a one, two, or three at the beginning. It's a logarithmic progression as you go from one all the way up to nine, and you can look at the Wikipedia article to get on it. Long story short, the odds of just about any completely random number, whether it's a stock market price, whether it's the number of Twitter followers, whether it's the mass of Mount Everest, whether it's the distance from Jupiter to Pluto, the odds are 30% that wow. that number will start with one. Well, of course she knows this, apparently. So. Well, apparently, apparently she did. I'm sure it was totally I'm unrelated to all of us being she, on this team. She's a hacker. <laughs> makes sense. But the odds for it being two are 17%, three is 12.5%, which wow. means one, two, and three together compose 60% of the spread. So if you look at this original setup that I did for you guys, one, two, and three right there are 60% of the possible outcomes, which means all of this is 40%. Now four yeah, is right say, around is four excluded? 10%, right? Huh. So I want the spread to be way in my favor. So yeah, I just yeah. declare four is a dead number. And I give you five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what's great is you look at this I'm winning. as five possibilities to three, but you don't realize that the total of all of your Five, six, it's seven, only eight, 30%. nine, 30%, which means we had a two to God one advantage it. of you. You, you, you deserve three Dude, drinks. Yes. You deserve three drinks. Give a cough it up, and boss. Again. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Far and away, the best scams are the ones that take advantage of people's preconceived notions and turn them against them. That's what's so great about using this law. Head on over to testingbenfordslaw.com and you'll discover that no matter what the random number is, whether it's number of Twitter followers, populations of Mexican towns, or even loan amounts at kiva.org, it seems to hold no matter what. Now, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit us up at the forums at scamschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, why don't you throw me a follow at twitter.com slash wood. And of course, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Now, next week, make sure to join us because we're going to learn how dressing up like a Sasquatch may be hilarious, but will get you shot. Until then, I'm back to the bar. The side bet was... So do I get the entire game if he's not? No! No! Are we willing to stay... This is a no side way. bet between me and the lady. Okay, I was going to say, do I get three For drinks? a drink. It would be like next to his name up at the top. It says from Marvin's room, which from I believe is not That's in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. No. So that means you owe me a drink. That means I come out with all the drinks, which is how I like it.